Honey, have you washed the speakers yet? Yes, an unlikely call, I know. But uh, this little Phillips is just so filthy that uh, that's what I've got to do to the plastic on the speaker cabinets. Obviously, you should take care not to uh, immerse the innards. Even if it says waterproof, they're not that waterproof. And I'm using a paintbrush because this has a chrome finish on it and I don't want to scratch it. And now I know some people let them get like that. It's beats the hell out of me, I can tell you. That's not looking. That's not looking too bad. Put it on the drying rack. Give this one a whirl too. This seems to be the worst of two. Still, if mine, it could be worse. It could be at the bottom of the tip, couldn't it? That's where it would have been if it stayed on the skip, or else smashed into bits and chucked all over the road in this neighbourhood. Trust me. Chrome surfaces it don't do to use aerial or biological washing powder either, by the way. Because it, it can and probably will wreck the uh, finish. And obviously the electrics should, if possible, be kept out. So we'll carefully decant the actual speaker over there on the work. And it's plug. This is pretty drastic doing this. It's not something I'd usually advocate. See all the dust in the bottom of it, huh? Well, this should obviously be allowed to dry out well and truly before you put it back together again. Don't want any moisture in the speakers, unless you're playing the water music, of course. Anyway, hope you liked it. It's a bit drastic, but needs must when the devil flies. <laughs>